Hey, Mike. Yo. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the Poop Avenger <laughs> and some extra videos I found. Okay. Uh, so let's get ready to have a shitty time. Oh, uh, I see what you did there. Banana Bear Show. So since we've been going through these uh, internet degenerates, we had one of them contact us. And, uh, you know, lo and behold, it was Andy. <laughs> and um, he made a video and we responded. But lo and behold, he made a comment. We never responded to it. But I responded to it and also I wanted to put it on video as well. Um, Andy's autism life story. Keep that in mind. Yep. Uh, why are any of you better than me or any different from me? <laughs> I'm a human being and so am I. You're a human being, so am I. Why <laughs> am I any different just because I have multiple uh, developmental disabilities? <laughs> why is it okay for you uh, to... What's that word? Function. Function and be able to work or be <laughs> post things on the internet and be a human being. But I'm a human being who is lesser than you, uh, lesser than all, all of you. you. Since when can you be God old uh, mighty to change someone, something that I am born with or to hurt me? Why oh. me? It's, it's like, yeah. uh, so the, not all the rest of the autistic people. Why? Because they don't have the, the uh, behavior and emotional issues because they have people helping them. And I don't. If you, uh, sorry, if I have help with everything I say I need I can function and live a life without emotional issues and behavior issues <laughs> you wouldn't be able to have <laughs> anything to make entertainment <laughs> of my disability <laughs> my disability are part of who I am so you're making fun of me, not my behavior or disability. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so stupid. Uh, <laughs> my behavior or disability or inconvenience or anything. Wow. I am the one who, who you all are hunting. Um, <clears throat> so my response... Yep. Is stop. Just stop. You're the worst actor. Yeah. And you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, yeah. My uncle. I have an uncle with autism, low okay. functioning, and he yeah. doesn't shit his pants. <laughs> you cry and you bitch about your life all the time on video. Your issues, Andy. You have issues, Andy. Of course you do. You're filled with self-pity, hate, and shit. I had to put shit in there. Ew. Uh, you, uh, you need to grow up. People would feel sorry for you if you tried to get uh, to do better. You have brain damage caused from your accident on your bike, not because of your autism. That's something we've never brought up. I will okay. get to that soon. Yeah. Uh, do better, Andy. <laughs> Be proactive. Do better. He'll... Hell, if that... Well, it should be hell, but... <laughs> they, they made it hell. Heal. Yeah. Hell, if that doesn't work, fine, Jesus. <laughs> Stop faking this shit and shitting yourself. Above all else, grow up. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that reading. Anyway, the fact of the matter is, uh, after seeing that, 
uh, and do another deep dive. I, I found a bunch of videos. Now, the one thing I didn't know, and this is, you're going to get petty for him. Uh, we'll see. He, he has some issues, developmental issues, but he was still functioning fine. Okay. okay? We all know this. We all seen the videos. Right. There's more videos out there. All oh. right. Of him just being fine. Oh, okay. Um, but for some odd fucking reason, uh, he had he had this weird thing. All right. Okay. Where uh he had an accident on his bike, and supposedly, uh, it really fucked him up. Okay. And. They said he had no issues with it. But then, obviously, he did. Okay. He started acting this way. Right. Uh, but it was never diagnosed. So it could be something like that got triggered after getting hit by a car on his bike. But yeah. also, it doesn't make any other sense that he has this fetish of shitting himself and all that crap. Right. So I don't feel pity because of all this stuff. I do feel pity because. There could be allegations when he was younger, he was sexually assaulted and oh. somehow it was dormant and some how the crash just, it was like the Hulk just getting radiated and all that stuff and the abuse and stuff made him the Hulk. It wasn't just the gamma radiation. Uh, all this shit made him the shit demon we all know now. So we're going to watch a couple of videos and one is a very important one because, you know, autism story, Andy. Um, and you've been granted with the power of shit. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna just watch some videos of him and then get you really angry with the last. One. Andy did okay. share. I got something I want to share with you guys first. Let's play this. For gun control and to take away Second Amendment right. I don't like hurting people or animals. It would make no sense for me to buy a gun. One more thing to say, I have a mental health issues and autism and I live in one of the strict states that has gun control for people like me. Why would I get a gun? I have no way of doing it. I think a application to get a gun would need ID like everything does. I don't have ID. ID is not intellectual disability that I have I am using ID as non-driver's ID for photo. Come near my hotel room, my my one of my roommates next door to me, or a few doors down, or or even at the end of the other end of where Andy lives, is going to blow your ass away with their AK-47. That's a threat, sir. We uh we should not do that. Andy also likes don't going on. I, Andy likes to try to figure out who's trolling him. Right, we're all bad people, like you and me. Yeah, okay. all of us bad people. So, so you went on the dark. So one. my journey started on the on this Kiwi Farms that Mind you, he is a supposedly low functioning autistic guy that shits his pants. That needs help with everything because Andy do, could get it, can hurt himself. Yeah. Somehow he figured out how to go on the fucking dark web. That site, a cyber criminal website blocked by DuckDuckGo with the dark web search engine. However, Google allows. How the fuck does he know about this? this is... How does yeah. he know how to go get onto the dark web? Uh, I mean, wasn't he like showing, like doing technical stuff in one yeah, video? Yeah, it seems yeah. like he has a brain. Oh, like to go on the constant IP address changing of this uh, the DNS server and the hosting site has constantly changed. They claim that these are videos that have been posted by me on my channel. Then they had to smear my name when I never was charged. I was never convicted. But then they had smeared my name in the text uh, messages on Facebook before posting this article on kiwi farms that didn't get them anywhere at all they tried charging me for harassment but failed because i have a disability then oh. days this person has the nerve to say uh share my medical records to the public what's the time stop the time what's the time 
So this is the things that they put out there out of mine. Some of the documents and these shows include medical dictations and other related paperwork, which offer us the most objective assessment of what is actually wrong with Andy. The video is unfortunately recorded in vertical screen, but I stitched together and highlighted some of the key diagnosis information at the end of the post. In the spoiler, I've typed up some of the things Andy has been diagnosed with. If these pictures were in a video, wouldn't these not be flat like they are? Wouldn't they not have missing text and cut off parts of the document? I stitched together and highlighted some of the key diagnosis information. This person puts out my speech thing, oh, but they what? also state my diagnosis of autism, but then they try to say, oh, you don't have it. It's just a LOL call. This person posted this very nice image of mine to say <laughs> very very nice image very, very. say very mean things about oh, no me to slander me even more we're going to try to show you okay it's a big hey, word we're andy register for account here okay first of all strongly recommend clicking on the cyber one-on-one -on -one, which we'll do in a minute don't use usernames or personal information let's go to this page here so this person writes, consider every post you make would look like with your real name next to it. So he's already telling you, okay, hey, use fake names. I'm a target because I post things on YouTube that cause me to be a target. Only remove the videos just to let you know for the safety of my workers and people who are, who are involved helping me. Never use the same username twice. Be careful. What? Is that username right there? Yeah. <laughs> A best PC? Yeah. That's where everyone found where he wasn't autistic. Ah. Those videos of him with the PC stuff, there's a bunch of them. Yeah. Careful of signing up other, uh, uh, and other communities. You also claim you need a VPN. And what good website do you need a VPN to actually go... He's uh, an idiot. Anyway, yeah. why would you, dude? You are, you are trying to wake a sleeping giant with that. <laughs> um, Andy isn't just online being an idiot. Um, he does it in public too. All right. Did Did you read my email today? The one I sent you the other day. The one that you replied to. Just a red red Andy. I'm autistic, Joe. I lost the support to be at work because mom got sick. Dad can't take care of me and mom. And I have a lot of issues and he's helpless. Basically, the only thing you were basically relying on her back then was rides. And medications and my appointments. And he, she made decisions for me at my appointments. She acted... I thought you were doing pretty well, Andy. Really? She thought I was doing very well because of all the things she helped me with. That's what that's what they're supposed to do until we get to a certain age and we have to figure it out as we go along. Oh, so mom did all the decision mate so Joe, you're basically telling me because I You're they're, basically telling you're doing, you're expecting They're doing what parents are supposed Joe, to do. Then why did mom do it up until two thousand twelve? Why? why could I never why? work since then? Why could, why could I never Andy, take my medicine quiet without down. out? Quiet down. We're in a restaurant. But Joe, you think there's nothing the wrong with me. You don't <laughs> think I... You do think you want to walk home? What? Do you want to walk home? Hey Joe, do you want to know something? And I'm going to let you know real quick. And I'm leaving. And I'm not going with you. Oh no. Joe? Why did mom You're expecting a blind person to read from a chalkboard. It's the same thing you're expecting me with autism and intellectual disability to <laughs> to be able to take care Why of myself. Mom, mom help you? Cause I'm we're, I'm we're, leaving, we're, her, we're her kids. We're her children. I'm leaving. I'm 12. Take me out to my, 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 um, uh, 
take me to lunch. I don't think I'm capable when I haven't been able to, Joe. What? So, once again, he, Andy can't do anything himself. Andy has <laughs> autism. Andy can't even, he shits himself all the time. <laughs> Andy, Andy gets bullied for no reason. Making yeah, fun of my no autism. Reason. Can I talk to you, Mama, quick for a second? No. I want to hurt to get in. I need to talk for a minute. About what? What do you need to talk about? Do you realize, Dad, I've been having a really hard Mind you, he he puts these out there, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, it, look how bad they're treating me. Hard time yeah. with, with my behavior as of late. Hard time, yeah. Have you noticed that? No, I don't know. Have you noticed how, Dad? Have you noticed how you are not listening to me like you were? Because of two uh, two weeks ago, I would have. Uh, you would have been sitting down and be more patient with me and listening to me, and you haven't been doing that. Okay. okay. And, and you're just Maybe all over the place. Maybe you can't listen and hear what I'm saying? I am no. hearing what you're saying. No, you no. But, Dad, you weren't. <laughs> Dad, listen. How old is Please, he, then? you do a real good job. Oh, and other times you don't. And it's 30. Dad, I'm just telling you. Slow down your thought process. You're overwhelming me because you're oh, not listening to me. Yeah. You're not taking oh. this interaction slowly like you were a few weeks ago with me. Mind you, this is the guy that has put shit in a coffee maker to not try to kill his parents. Has used, uh, uh, you know, those drip the oil drip thing because he's relaxing his coping mechanism. Yeah. Doesn't give a fuck about his parents. Just wants shit done for him. Yep. And goes on violent uh, times where he just starts banging his head and rumming around. And then he's saying, why aren't you more patient with me? I cannot you're an process idiot. information when you rapidly talk and don't listen to what I'm trying to ask you for help for things. Pick up and get more energetic. Dad! I'm just trying to help it's you It's not going to help me when I have a communication problem. Keep that in mind. And I'm not able to take care of myself. And I'm getting frustrated because I'm trying to ask you to please go back to the way oh, you were that. with me. Okay. Just go on up there a while. And that is all I'm t I don't think he sees what why I'm acting this way. And I don't see you or Joe giving, uh, holding him accountable and helping me with this, Mom. And it's not fair. I'm scared. Can you please help me with him? I try at night when we're upstairs alone. Well, I'm really scared. I can't take the anxiety because of alone. And well, he's not recording he's this. He's not listening to you or Joe. So he's trying to do stuff. He's smart enough to be like, oh. No, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't do anything after speech therapy. You're right. You're right. I I just ima I imagine. Getting upset, having the police come help me. You're right. What? Like five, six hours later? <laughs> That's bullshit. That's like starting trouble. Dad, just I don't want to argue. Cause he didn't see what caused the issue. If you don't want to listen to what I'm trying to feel safe with how you're talking to me. Sorry, leave me alone. Dad, I want to move out because you won't listen to how I am asking you to please talk to me. And I don't... This day, I want to be move out, Dad, because you don't listen to me and I can't take care of myself. He's out of there. Because I'm... Uh, I have autism. Wants to get upset because I... Mother for help! That's not all you have. Um, I was trying to, but you kept talking over me. 
You've done the I have no recording on what you're doing and I don't know. Can you stand up? Mom Mom the dancing is part of him. Wow. I cannot stand this whiny baby. Now, like I said, it would be all different if what he said was true. Yeah. That he had some functions in his head and it's all caused by his autism. But what does the court say about it? office or people with developmental disabilities as you determine that you are not eligible for the Medicaid services provided through OPWDD, including the home and community-based waiver services and care at home services, <laughs> Medicaid coordination, day treatment, Article 16, clinic services, or intermediate care facility for persons with intellectual disabilities and developmental disabilities. Based on documentation pursuant to mental hygiene law, there is a lack of qualifying diagnosis. Second step on Mr. Dish to be ineligible for OPWDD services based on a clinical determination that he does not have a developmental disability as set forth in mental hygiene law section 1.0322. Mr. Dish then began to continually submit additional information to the DDRO, which was reviewed accordingly through OPWDD's three-step process. After each re-review, Mr. Dish was advised in writing that he was still not eligible for OPWDD services as he failed to meet necessary criteria. After a thorough review of the supporting documentation, the eligibility committee advised that Mr. Dish does not meet the criteria for a self-eligibility under mental hygiene law, section 1.0322. The eligibility committee indicated that a diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder did not be substantiated based on the documentation submitted. So, Mr. Ditch, Andrew, yeah, I, 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 you, you requested multiple hearings on the same issue, correct? Yeah, they only had two doctors in the first hearing, thinking it was a slam dunk to deny me services and call me schizophrenic when I'm not schizophrenic. That was a misdiagnosis of mine. And yet, then they had four doctors one chief uh, doctor from Albany, and and a social worker and a lawyer, to me and my representative, who's a caseworker. Sounds pretty definitive and to me. And dad, and we weren't even allowed to finish the presentation. We weren't even allowed the how uh to cross examine them or bring my mom and dad to clear up the records of of what they've been accused of. That I've been denied services for. And yet this judge said earlier in part one that I could get the cross-examination and everybody would be able to present their hearing of uh, their information and argument and bring their witnesses in and then cross-examination. And that never happened. Oh, no. Anything to shut me down from trying to get help, damn it. How come I can... How can you trust a doctor who says the ADOS is a gold standard... For adult autism diagnosing, say I'm schizophrenic and that's why we're not helping you. And then to say, then to say, uh, then can be used to table contacts. And I love Judge McElroy in September 2020 saying, Dr. Hamilton, are you with me? By the way, I don't even know how the hell that's asking if Dr. Hamilton's competent or, 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 or anything, or if she's all right. I don't understand that, but that's what a friend had said. After the review of subsequently submitted material from Mr. Dutch, the eligibility committee added that the diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder continues to not be substantiated based on the documentation submitted. After the review of subsequently submitted material from Mr. Dutch, the eligibility committee added that the diagnosis of autism spectrum 
Parkinson's disorder continues to not be substantiated based on the documentation submitted. There is no other qualifying diagnosis identified or supported. You're wrong. Andrew, wrong. He's wrong. He does Andrew not doesn't get, have autism. Yeah, yeah. He does he does not get help. Four fucking doctors have said the same thing. Right. Using the gold standard for mental disabilities. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Right. As as much as I hate how they had to rechange it because, you know, gender dysphoria is now <laughs> not in it right. anymore. Or it is, but they don't consider it a mental illness, which it is. No results of an behavior submitted. Read that out there in, in internet land. Read uh what is it, the D DS twenty? Yeah, is that something the new like that. One? Uh, I, I'm not sure off the top of my head. The record suggests that he continued to find that Andrew Ditch does not meet criteria for a developmental disability. That's the full age. He does have a disability. Patient has been diagnosed with seizural affective disorder and presents as delusional but refuses to believe this diagnosis. Attachment 17. Hello, Your Honor. This is Dr. Parrick. I'm going to finish reading the summary. Now, well, this is what they found. <laughs> We're tag team in it here. And that's the DSM 5 TR. I believe. Several psychiatric reports were completed by Trinity Medical, Western New York PC, and Erie County Medical Center for Mr. Ditch, attachment 16. While some of these reports indicate that Mr. Ditch had an autism spectrum disorder, none of them reference any testing to support this diagnosis. The Erie County Medical Center noted in its March 7, 2019 report. SW APIC referral details. Per collateral, Andrew has an IQ of 80, central auditory processing disorder, and another. Now, do you know about um, about IQ tests? No. I mean, kind of. Okay. Uh, an IQ test is based off of, um, you know, standard questionings, and you get a score. Now, I don't know if you know your IQ test. I do not. Um, I, I'm I'm making sure I don't want to say the wrong thing. Uh, average score is between 85 and 115. Yeah, yeah. Because I know I'm like a hundred and something. Well, then I'm definitely 200. Well, you could be. I don't know. I, I don't. Know. I'm joking. I'm joking. I I remember I did it. It was a while ago. It was before it hit the Adderall. But yeah. um, but they say like that average average is. If you're in a hundred to uh, eighty-one to a hundred, you're you're normal. Okay. Okay. And um, and he's eighty. Yeah. Other processing disorder. He does not have autism. Andrew insists he has autism, and per collateral, he has researched and is taking these symptoms. Attachment sixteen. Yes. The symptoms he self-reports, which may be associated with autism may also be characteristic of other disorders. While Andrew's speech patterns are odd, many times he changes topic mid-sentence or mid-thought in a way that may represent other psychiatric conditions. His speech patterns also differ across different settings or modes of communication. On the video links provided within his email, he uses more mature grammar than he has used in his in-person communication. In an 11 intake report, Dr. Penaler noted that Andrew was evaluated on two occasions by Dr. Santa Maria, PhD, neuropsychologist. Both evaluations yielded the diagnosis of schizoaffective affective disorder. Dr. Santa Maria noted in both reports that Andrew was presenting with concerns that he had autism. Dr. Santa Maria noted in his reports that Andrew's history is not consistent with an individual with ASD and that certain behaviors could be accounted for by other diagnoses, attachment 19. More recently, he has had easy effective diagnosis as an established diagnosis. It is unclear whether Andrew evidenced symptoms of autism when younger sufficient for a diagnosis in childhood. It is unclear why he is exhibiting substantial symptoms of ASD at this time when these symptoms were not documented in psychoeducational reports from when he was in high school. There are odd, bizarre behaviors and other behaviors that are not consistent with a diagnosis of ASD. For example, Andrew's use of the pronoun me instead of the word I is not typical of individuals with ASD, attachment 19. The diagnosis of autism is not supported by any comprehensive assessment. Psychiatric diagnoses continue to be noted. 
Mr. Gibbs was not, did not present any records for review that support a qualifying diagnosis prior to the age of 22. So basically, he's faking very poorly. <laughs> yeah, and it's funny because uh, they brought up that the only thing they think he has is schizophrenia. Right. Schizophrenia is having... Um, isn't schizophrenia where you believe you have two personalities? Uh, more so you hear voices. Yeah. yeah. And it's because, I guarantee you, he says, Andy, me, and not I. By the eligibility committee and its multiple reviews, a diagnosis... So even that diagnosis could be wrong because it could be based off of his speech pattern. The of autism right. spectrum disorder cannot be substantiated based on the documentation submitted. There is no other qualifying diagnosis identified or supported. Mr. Gitch does not have an intellectual disability, a neurological impairment that impacts functioning, or an autism spectrum disorder. Therefore, without validation of a qualifying diagnosis, he is not eligible for OPWDD services. When younger, if his parents told him he had to go to school, Andrew would have a meltdown and would become aggressive, attachment 24. The subsequent retrospective adaptive of Mr. Ditch's mother differs significantly from the fire one completed in 2019. There is no explanation provided for this discrepancy. Mr. Ditch did not submit an adaptive assessment to support substantial handicaps during the developmental period as required by OPWDD guidelines. Even if it was determined that adaptive deficits exist, they cannot be attributed to a qualifying condition. Therefore, without confirmation of adaptive deficits prior to age 22, nor adaptive deficits linked to a qualifying diagnosis, together with the lack of documentation to support a qualifying condition, Mr. Dish does not meet the eligibility criteria for a words. disability under Mental Hygiene Law 1.0322 and is ineligible for OPWDD services. So, he lying. <laughs> How's that autistic story going? Yeah, that's it's not true. Not true. You're a fucking liar, Andy. Yep. You're a lying piece of shit. Yep. What facts have you brought up? You have a show day. Fucker, what's that? It's your state. These are facts. Oh, these those aren't my doctors. Bitch, those are the Don't doctors matter. for the state. Yep. I'm sorry, Andy. They they're not and conspiring I'm against you. No, I saw a video. Some girl kind of does the shit we do, but like long term. Okay. Um, it was some weird thing because she was wearing like some furry shit. Oh, no. And then like when it cut, she wasn't wearing it anymore. So I was like, okay, she's normal. Okay, okay. good, good. Yeah. Um, She was like, now listen, Andy doesn't have autism, but he could have other things. And now I know that, okay. that there's been accounts of he could have been sexually molested, molested when he was younger. Okay. And it could have been some trauma. Okay, I get it, but that's why do you shit your pants? Like, it's not that. It can't be that. And then it was brought up that he was functioning fine, and then he got to, a, a, like, a wreck where he was on his bike, and he got hit by a car, and I think it was like a, like, they hit him, and they left. And ever since then, he's just been, it's been, like, going down, where Obviously, there's a terminology in in the in the mental health community. If you know this, back in the day when trains were a big thing, some guy had a train spike go through his head, and they removed uh, it, and he had a different personality. Right, something of that nature. But I doubt it. I think what happened was if if there was like a because the only problem that they had was he used to flip out. When they told him to do something and he didn't want to do it. Right. That's just being a fucking baby. Yeah. Like, like that's all it is. And that personality like grew more and more because he wants things for him. Andy wants this. Andy wants that. And it's developed into a personality where now he thinks he has these barriers like a bubble boy where he can't get out of it. And I can't do this. I can't go to a bathroom. He can, but he just won't do it. That's why when I had that uh, little, like, you know, uh, response back to him, it, it yeah. grow up, yeah. grow up. Yeah. You need to do better. I have an uncle that is low functioning autistic. They did not know what autism was because he's about 60, 65. Right. He's old. Right. Yeah. But they didn't know what autism was. So they thought he was mentally uh, retarded. 
Um, that was the diagnosis back then, you know. And right. uh, he wasn't. He had autism, bad autism, and because of a lack of an actual, like, you know, education that uh, somebody that they think has mental retardation, he didn't get that. So right. he's low iq low-functioning autistic. He can't take care of himself. That's why now, you know, because he's a lot older, he has government housing. Right. And among other weird shit, which I won't get to. Right. I mean, uh... but like on, on that aspect, Andy is a lying sack of shit. Yeah. And Andy, you bring it up to the internet, automatically makes you liable for what you say. So people like us talk about it. And well, it's I just, just don't like you. <laughs> it's just the fact that he's using it as an excuse. See, He's able to get these high concepts, and I'm not, you know, a doctor by any means, but obviously the doctors have said that he he does not qualify. Obviously he has something wrong with him. Um, I, I don't know if it's a mental disorder or whatever. It doesn't really matter. It just seems like he's, he's trying real hard to push this stuff, and you think somebody would kind of be on his side if it really was an issue, but his, it looks like his parents aren't doing anything. He's the one leading this case. So that makes me wonder. It's like his parents are like, well, maybe we, we shouldn't push this any further. But he's like eh, bound and determined because he doesn't, you know, probably want to work or do anything else. Yeah, I just. It, he's despicable. I hate people like this because they take funding away from actual people who need it. I mean, he's not, crazy. but. <laughs> We'll leave it on one more thing. As as we can see, Mikey and you and uh, Andy no, and no, these these are turtles, turtles, turtles headphones. Play his computer and learn how to uh, become a possible terrorist and stuff. Thanks. Yep. And then uh, he uh, verbally attacks me and stuff, and I'm disabled. Have a good one, sir. You say, but... Um, is that a Walmart truck? What? Why is he cutting through this way? Oh. But he's not a Walmart truck. I didn't even see where... ...camera for YouTube. Twice almost got hit. Why is he so sweaty? Bet, Mikey. Well, I mean, is he is he doing physical activity? Yeah, he's walking. Oh, for his health? No. Oh, okay. Because he has autism, Mikey. That's what he says. He's gonna go irritate uh, people. That's yeah. okay. There's also like a video of him like harassing police officers because they're like, "Hey, Andy, what's up?" He's like, "I need help going back home." And they, they didn't know where his home was, so they started sending him another direction. He's like, "My hotel's that way, motherfucker." Then why'd you go? That's been Andy Dutch. Yep, living embodiment of a fake pooper. Fake pooper. And oh, okay. <laughs> and with that, go check out Banana Bear Show on YouTube. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, share the video with everybody. We don't care. Share a video with uh, with Andy. Definitely share the video with Andy. <laughs> Andy don't like the Banana Bear show. They make fun of him. That's right. We we uh we just don't care about you, Andy. A little part of me does because he did contact us, and I'm like, he's the first. <laughs> he's, the, but, he's the first that reached out. Yeah, but like you know, it's <laughs> the most shitty one. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next video. Bye. Boop, 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 boop.